Now let's talk about uh, work. Um, first of all, remember the first law of thermodynamics, the change in the uh, mean energy of a system is the work done on the system plus the heat absorbed by the system. So in this equation, W is work done on the system and the change in the mean energy is also due to Q, the heat absorbed by the system. Now, if we have a thermally isolated system um, for a thermally isolated system, we would have no energy transfer in the form of heat and that would be called an adiabatic interaction Q is equal to zero so the mean energy change would be just equal to work and work is from mechanical definition the dot product of force with uh, displacement that it causes so by measuring work in an adiabatic process, uh, we know delta E bar. Now, in order to uh, measure uh, the work, we have to uh, look at the force and the displacement it causes. But force and displacement are macroscopic quantities, so we will be dealing with their mean values. So in order to measure uh, work, uh, we, we don't need to form an ensemble of systems um, basically because we already deal with the mean values of some macroscopic quantities. So I'm going to talk about two different uh, setups uh, where we can measure work. Uh, the first setup is uh, the measurement of mechanical work. So in this setup, I have a system A. Now system A, as you can see in this figure, is a container that is filled with some liquid, maybe water. There is a thermometer and there is a paddle wheel. So you can see system A consists of a paddle wheel, a container filled with water and a thermometer. Now system A prime that it's going to interact with is a weight W uh, plus the earth that the weight is interacting with due to gravitational force. Well, the string is connecting these two systems, the weight and the earth, uh, and the, the system A, the pedal wheel, water, and the thermometer in this container. So basically, if the string is made of a suitable material, we can assume that the string transmits negligible heat. So basically to a good approximation Q is zero therefore I call this uh, adiabatic adiabatic interaction. So between system A and A prime I have adiabatic interaction. So as you can see I have defined S to be the distance from uh, the top of the uh, setup here where I have the pulleys uh, to, the, to the weight. So when we change the distance S uh, from the top the weight descends by an amount delta S there will be work done uh, by the gravitational force so W work done will be the weight w mg or mg multiplied by 
delta s so when it descends by an amount um, delta s I'm going to see so this weight comes down to its new location here and I'm going to see that the gravitational force is doing work so W descends by an amount delta s and system a plus a prime which is the earth and the weight plus uh, the system a water container paddle wheel and thermometer uh, i can assume that this is isolated from the rest of the universe so if you look at the change in the mean energy of a uh, system a as a result of this adiabatic interaction it will be equal to its initial mean energy plus the work done on the system w delta s and the change in the mean energy of system a prime the uh, earth weight system will be initial mean energy minus w delta s because work is being done by uh, the weight so as a result there will be a system ener uh, energy increase uh, by W delta S. So E or delta E can be measured uh, using the temperature reading in the thermometer. So basically, as the weight descends, it's going to be rotating the paddle wheel and the paddle wheel will uh, heat the uh, water. So paddle wheel and water will have a thermal interaction with its within system A and it will heat system A and we will see the effect of this heating in the thermometer. Or it will heat the water and we will see this effect in the thermometer so it will be due to um, energy transfer from the weight to system a by doing work on the system where the work is transmitted by the rotation of the pedal wheel that causes a temperature increase due to um, the friction in the water uh, as a second example we can talk about uh, electrical work so if you consider electrical work now I have a system A that is a resistor plus a water uh, some amount of water in a container and a thermometer and now I have system A prime that is the battery that is providing me an EMF of V watts so when we close uh, this switch S uh, what will happen is that due to the potential difference there will be a current developing that will flow uh, through this uh, resistor and the amount of work that we do uh, on the charges that are flowing in the circuit will be the potential difference uh, V so the battery has an EMF of V so potential difference V multiplied by the charge that's going to flow through the circuit so that will be equal to the potential difference we're applying multiplied by the current and the time interval in which the uh, switch S is closed so this is when switch S is closed for a time interval delta t so there is a current flowing through the circuit and 
current times delta t goes current is uh, dq dt by definition uh, therefore there will be a dq that is flowing current times dt or delta q in the macroscopic sense will be current times delta t and the potential uh, is basically potential energy per charge so if you multiply it by the charge we get the total amount of potential energy that is turning into uh, work uh, on this charge by carrying it through the circuit and as a result the resistor will heat up and it's going to um, basically transfer heat to the water and we can read the temperature of the water so we will see uh, that system A uh, water uh, container resistor thermometer uh, mean energy will increase by an amount uh, V I delta T and uh, that means this is detected via a temperature reading in the thermometer while we don't have a thermal interaction between the battery and the uh, and system A because we're neglecting heat transfer uh, through the wires uh, so neglect heat transfer through the wires so we have Q is equal to zero adiabatic interaction however within system A the resistor will heat up the water so there will be a thermal interaction between the resistor and the water and the thermometer as well so the thermometer at equilibrium will read uh, the final temperature reading uh, this is going to be given by a reading of the length L of the column in the mercury thermometer and similarly in the previous example we're also reading the temperature from the column height in the thermometer because it's calibrated we can determine what the final temperature of the system will be so we're indirectly measuring the work done on the system by detecting the increase in the temperature of the system which is due to a change in the mean energy of the system in both cases